Peace, peace, peace. I hope everybody's having a good day. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your boy Vic Sling Hope. Not dope or coke. You know what I'm saying? We out here promoting positivity. And I come to y'all with another, another little story time, you know. This time it's about my story of my first day on duty banging the set. You know what I'm saying? Like, so you know, matter of fact, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me let me let me get the shades real quick, you know what I'm saying? Cause it's it's story time, now I mean. So for those, you know. Like, comment, subscribe, share before we get started. You know, that's how YouTube do its thing. You know what I'm saying? That's how YouTube do its thing. You know what I'm saying? I don't make the rules. You know what I'm saying? They make the rules. You know what I'm saying? So, like, make sure y'all, you know, y'all look out for your boy. So, somebody asked me in the comments, you know, they wanted to hear the story, you know, my first day on duty, on the job. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I was like, you know, I got to give the viewers what they want. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Huh? Uh-huh. Um... <laughs> But um, I know y'all see this 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 the Xbox 360 in the back. You know that's my man shit. Um, R. P. Alex. Some people know him as A. Will. You know that was my brother from another mother. You know what I'm saying like I miss him, and I just wanted to like shout him out. And the reason why the 360 is out is because I was trying to charge my sidekick because I was trying to see if I had some pictures of me. You know what I'm saying in the, you know what I'm saying. In the in the in the in my uniform, not me. You know what I'm saying? For those who know me, you know don't, don't talk shit in the comments, man. You know, yeah, I used to have my little uniforms and shit. You know what I'm saying? But um, <clears throat> that's besides the point. Um, but anyway, I was trying to like charge my sidekick. You know, look, oh, woo, woo, it's just it's still long too. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, let me put my little coat, put my little coat and all that. You know what I'm saying? Still got my little coat. Bam, you know what I'm saying? It's still long, still long. I don't know if y'all can see. Like, I don't think y'all can see my little, my little, my little, um, my little Gmail. Y'all probably can't see it. Hold on, real quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, y'all probably can't see it, but like, yeah, man, I was bugging back then. My Gmail, not not even Gmail. It was AOL. My AOL was Cripstar16 at AOL.com. This how this how going I was. You feel me? Like, you ain't gonna get no job like that with a <laughs> with a damn email address like that. I was bugging back then. You feel me? Like, like shit's crazy. But anyway, I ain't gonna lie, man. Sidekicks was lit back in the day. I bet you Snoop Dogg made a lot of money for sidekicks, B. Cause you know, remember the commercial? Everybody need a sidekick. I ain't gonna lie. You know, I used to be getting my little aim. You know, y'all remember aim? I know y'all remember aim. Sure. Everything was just yo. Give me the aim, yo. Give me the aim, yo. Yo, what's your aim? Like yo, you don't even gotta give me the number, yo. Let me just get your aim real quick, like you know. Reminisce, yo. We gotta bring sidekicks back, B. I mean, maybe not sidekicks back, but we got to bring AIM back. I think, I think AIM, I don't know, AIM might, I mean, we got a lot of social media today. I don't, I don't know if we need AIM, but I don't know. I used to like AIM, man. And the crazy thing is, after I got locked up, maybe like six months after I got locked up, everybody told me, yo, they don't use AIM no more. Blackberries took over. I was like, damn. I mean, I mean, I was in jail, but you know. And I remember my mom tried to sell my shit too. She was just like, yo, I'm going to sell it and I'm going to send you the money. And I was like, you better not sell my phone. <laughs> you better not sell my phone. You know, I I was thinking like I'm gonna beat my shit, I'm gonna come home, you know what I'm saying? Like I wasn't gonna do that much time and I'm gonna need a jack. I'm not thinking like I could board no another one, you know what I'm saying? Like she was like, You could buy you gonna buy another phone when you come home anyway. And you know, but that wasn't the case. She was like, You gonna buy another phone anyway when you come home? Like and I was just like, Nah man, don't you better not sell my sidekick. <laughs> Lady, you better not sell my sidekick. Word. You know what I'm saying? Back to the story. No, no, no. Before I get to the story. So my sidekick, right? I was looking to see if I, I had some pictures in here before. You know what I'm saying? But like, I took out the pictures. I took a damn. My shit just shut, shut down, man. But yeah, this is my sidekick, Alex. You know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> the little purple one. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, you know, I had a little, little something. Little something. I came into a little chicken. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I caught me the Alex. You know, it was like the newest shit before I got locked up. Um... The purple joint. This 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 joint. They had like a purple one and a black one. I ain't going front like this was. Yo, <clears throat> psychic Alex had to be the most robbed phone back in the day. I'm not even gonna lie. Like when I don't yo when they came out with the psychic, yo. After the two, I think like yeah the three. The three was like the one that was booming booming. And then after the three, you know it was like the the, the blue one, the little four. Yo. <clears throat> Then they, after a while, they started making little wristbands. So, because, so, you know, people were snatching sidekicks. Yo, shit was crazy. I ain't going to lie, man. The Bronx, I don't know how it was anywhere else, but, yo, it was crazy in the Bronx for the sidekicks. And let's not talk about the merms and, and, and the BBs and the every. Shh, that's a whole nother video about how crazy it was in the Bronx. But anyway, I was trying to look for some pictures. 
Because I only got one picture. And I'm going to put it right here. You know what I'm saying? I only got one picture. You know, um, so this is the picture. So if y'all see it a lot, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, bear with me. I, I ain't really, you know, people wasn't taking a lot of pictures back then. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, people was just, you know, you know, your, your MySpace pictures was blurry. <laughs> Everything was blurry back then. You feel me? Like, but, you know, that's the only, this is the only picture I kind of like have. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, but I have some other pictures on this phone. I think I deleted them. But anyway... That's why I brought out the 360, and that's why I was doing this. You know what I'm saying? I was charging it. So, anyway, boom. Story time. So, you know, I turned low and all that. And then I remember this day. This is my first day. I turned low on a Thursday. And I remember it. You know what I'm saying? You remember shit like this because it changed my life. So, and before I get into the stories, I, I tell these stories from, like, you know, kind of, like, bring awareness. You know, sometimes it's a little funny. We laugh and shit. We kick it. You know, um, but there's always wisdoms in my story. You know what I'm saying? There's always, like, a... A moral of the story, you know what I'm saying? So, shit is not about glorifying this shit, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I really, like, I don't bang no more. I'm, I'm not for this shit no more. But, you know, I still got homies that do it. I still got people that I be trying to influence and try to, like, you know, let's do different shit. You want to bang? Yeah, let's help our community. Let's do something different, you feel me? Like, we can't keep doing the same shit to each other, you know what I'm saying? And thinking, like, we going somewhere with it, you feel me? At the end of the day, like... We got to be realistic. Like, I read Tukey Williams' book in prison. You feel me? And Tukey Williams' book, it don't say nothing about... It didn't say... Well, you know, he's a co-founder, but it didn't say nothing about this was some positive shit. It didn't say this was something about to fight against state violence. They didn't say this was something about, you know, um, helping out the people in our community. You know, it, it, it was just some straight gang shit. It was some straight, like... You know what I'm saying? There was a lot of gangs around, and, and people created, you know, little pockets of protection, you know, and, and that was that, and that was that, and then, like, you know, you get a little big, you get a little strong, and, you know, you start doing the same thing that the oppressor did to you, so it's a cycle, so for people that be out there talking about, oh, it was this, it's still this, I don't know, man, you just got to pull up the receipts, you just got to show, you feel me, like, did Raymond Washington say this shit was created to, to fight against state power, did Tukey say that, because I ain't read it in the book, you feel me? Um, it didn't even say that Crip stood for community resolution and progress, like some people might say, you know, so I don't know where they got that from, but in the book, he just said, yo, Crips was short for Crip, for cripples, like cripplets, or whatever, they thought it was cripple, or whatever the case might be, um, and at some point, I think they was called the Baby Avenue Cribs, or some. it was some. I don't know, I, I can't fully remember, I read the book a long time ago, but if I'm wrong, put it in the comment section, you know what I'm saying, correct me if I'm wrong, because I love to be corrected, and you know what I'm saying, and and addressed when I, when I make a mistake. But anyway, boom, back to the story. So it was Thursday. Thursday. Thursday, I got my... I almost said some crazy shit. <laughs> Thursday, I got my degree. You know what I'm saying? And I got the job on Friday. <laughs> on Friday, I was on the job. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, back in the day, if y'all know Gun Hill, man, show sure, Gun Hill used to be crazy. You know what I'm saying? Bloods everywhere. You know, everywhere. Like that. Everywhere. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, boom. Mind you, we was at 216. For those who know the hood, we was at 216 chilling. You know what I'm saying? Like, so we was at 216. Boom. It's my first day. I'm official now. You know what I'm saying? I'm official. You know, I told y'all before, you know what I'm saying? I used to be, you know, wearing the little flag here and there, but I wasn't official. You know what I'm saying? I was false claiming this shit, but now I'm official. You heard? Like, it's got the stamp. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't mind that. So I'm official now, you know what I'm saying? Got the little stamp. So, so boom. So I'm out there, right? So, you know, I was living in Gun Hill, you feel me? So, like, I'm like this, like, you know, 216, I'm in 216. So I'm walking back, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, after school, people used to chill on Gun Hill, try to talk to the girls from EV. Come on, if y'all know, if y'all from the hood, y'all know me. Y'all know what's up, man. Like, we used to be on Gun Hill, you know what I'm saying, by Eve. You know, we used to be from White Plains to Bronxwood. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody know, everybody come, come on now. Come on now. Come on now. So anyway, boom. So I was like, yo, you know, we was in the park chilling, probably smoking or whatever. And then we was like, yo, let's go to the hill real quick. She was up. She was shaking over there in the hill. She was moving over there. So we like, all right. Mind you, we know what's moving on the hill. If you from around the area, you know around from 2.30, from 2.30 to like 2.30, to like to like 5 probably, it's lit. You know what's up. So anyway, boom, we go to the hill, right? So we on the hill. 
It was me and my two other homies. Mind you, I think they had just turned Crip too. Um, but they turned Trey O. You feel me? I told y'all I was supposed to turn Trey O. So they had turned Trey O, rolling 30s. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to the rolling 30s, you feel me? So they were supposed to turn Trey O. Um, I didn't turn Trey O. I ended up turning insane, you feel me? Um, shout out to the babies, man. Um, so anyway, boom. I come down. I, two, two of my homies, right? So we walking down, whatever. They trail. I ain't gonna say no names. They know who they are. You know what I'm saying? Shout outs to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all kept it official. Y'all always kept it real. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, boom. We walking down White Plains. You know what I'm saying? We, you know what I'm saying? We excited. We we like this, man. You know when you get a job and you, you know what I'm saying? First day on the job, I feel so good. You be like, damn, I'm gonna get paid. I'm gonna like, you know what I'm saying? You, you start thinking about well, how you gonna spend your first paycheck. You start to get mad dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is how dumb we were. You know what I'm saying? We just excited. We out here like, la, 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 la. You know, we, we about to. So, boom. We're walking down White Plains Road. As soon as you get to like, you know, everybody that know Uptown, Uptown Bronx, as soon as you get to like, you're like by Farm Fair, because sometimes there used to be certain people on like, like by, by the Golden Crush and shit, by the Kennedys and shit, whatever, whatever, or by the liquor store, whatever. So as soon as you start getting on that block by Farm Fair, 212, you know what I'm saying? You start walking, you know, you, you start, I mean, the whole area is surrounded by bloods, but like, you know, like I said, around this time, after school, as soon as you start getting around 212, you know what I'm saying? You start noticing people, mind you, we got mad crates, we got flags, <laughs> Yo, we we looking for trouble. Trust me, we was looking for trouble. So anyway, boom, we come down right. We get two twelve, whatever, whatever. You know, a few 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 heads, kind of like fake turn, like you know what I'm saying. Because this, this this how it is, bro. You stick out like a sore thumb. It's like this. Few heads start to turn and shit, right? So we like, so we like, ah, right, you know, and we got the face too, like we like, you know what I'm saying? Like you you gotta have a face, but you like, you know what I'm saying? Like and you got like the bob to it, like. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we just like, we, 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 we like a, 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 a boy band. You know what I'm saying? This shit was like a boy band shit. We moving in sync too, like from, from side to side. You know what I'm saying? And we just looking at motherfuckers like this. You know what I'm saying? So like, boom. We get to like 211 now. Woo. You know what I'm saying? We get past Gold Crest, all that shit. We get to like 211. You know what I'm saying? So when we get to a 211, like nobody really notices, right? Like, like, you know, we still walking. We walk past the little, little, little fruit stand and the little, you know, the bank, the fruit stand and all that shit. Um, so we get to like, so everybody is by like the cleaners or the beauty supply, you know what I'm saying? Like, and they like on both sides of the sidewalk. So like, we had to literally walk in between everybody. You feel me? Like, so, so we walk, so mind you, everybody talking, everybody chilling, everybody, yo, come on, everybody that know the hill, know it's a vibe out there. You know what I'm saying? It's a sunny day. It's nice out. It was like around October too. So it wasn't like a cold day. Like, you know, you got a sweater on. It was nice out, it was sunny. You got a little sweat on, it probably was like 60 something. You know what I'm saying? Regular fall shit, you know what I'm saying? So it was nice out, you know what I'm saying? Some people just got t shirts on, you know what I'm saying? Like people vibing, like people talking to girls, do so good, you know what I'm saying? Everybody laughing, joking, kidding, ah, 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 lit, you feel me? So, boom, we walking down, nobody paying attention, everybody like in their own world and their old vibe. And then, out of nowhere, it was like, shit just got mad quiet. Something like motherfuckers started tapping each other, they're like, yo, yo, yo. You know what I'm saying? They like tapping each other. So we, we you know, we still on our back. You know what I'm saying? Like, looking at everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, no smiles. You heard? Like, so, boom. You know what I'm saying? We walking through. So we just, you know, we just looking at motherfuckers. Like, motherfuckers looking at us. You feel me? Like, <laughs> so, so niggas is like, you know, we hear people like, mur like, you know, the murmur. You know what I'm saying? We, we hear like people like, like whispering and shit. Like, these niggas crib. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> like who don't know this is a blood hood? You feel me? Like this is the dumb shit. You feel me? Like so, nigga was like, nigga's crazy. Like so, boom. You know, you know, we act like we don't hear it. We still walking, like looking at motherfuckers. You feel me? It's your turf. You shit. You supposed to protect your turf. You know the dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? So boom, we walking. We get to the, the crazy thing is the light. So we we about to cross the light. I mean, we about to cross the street, right? So the street. Light <laughs> start turning yellow and shit. You know, it's, it had the blink and shit. So boom, the light changed. This is the crazy thing. I thought it was gonna get crazy. So I'm what we walking through. We looking, looking, whatever, whatever. Boom, we get past and we get to the corner and the light change. <laughs> Come on, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. Like, look, look, look. 
I ain't gonna front. I ain't gonna front. You know, I, I'm keeping the, I'm keeping on the buck. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was mad motherfuckers out there. It was like, like about thirty motherfuckers out there. You feel me? Like, we like this. But I ain't gonna lie. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was, I was stubborn. I was stupid, and I, and I was, and I was gonna go out. I was gonna fight. You feel me? But like, you know, it, you know, everybody goes through that little, the little nervousness. You feel me? Like, you know, even when you do like your first crime, or you, or, or when you. You you hollering at a, at a girl, you talking to a guy, you feel me? Like when there's something new in your life, a new experience, like a lot of us get nervous, you feel me? That's some regular human behavior. So boom, I'm like, feel me? I don't know if my mans and them was like that, but I was like, so boom, the light changed, right? So we have the damn light, the light changed. So now we got our back to them, you feel me? So we turned around. We gotta like turn around. You feel me? Cause it's like I'm not gonna. We not gonna be just standing here. Hi, hi, Kiki. Yo, what's up, man? You, yo, you seen? Nah. You know what I'm saying? Like, so we turned around and we sitting there like we like. You know what I'm saying like, what's up? Like, dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 like you gotta look at the fella. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? So we, we you know, we turn around. We just standing there. We just you know looking at motherfucker. You know, we not even brawling. We not even big, big, but we. We, we acting like we, shit, like, we, you, know, you gotta, you gotta poke out your chest a little bit, like, just looking at motherfuckers, you feel me, like, 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 and then, like, you know, like, yeah, motherfuckers just was looking at us, and, and, like, you know, my mans had the little bang or whatever, you know what I'm saying, he was just waiting for a situation, he was just, I feel like sometimes people could just feel you looking for trouble, like, you know, like, cause this, like, you know this neighborhood is, you know what I'm saying? Like, people know the turf, people know the territory, and then, like, when you randomly just see these these three crypt dudes, and they just, man, they got all type of shit, crates, flags, all type of stuff, you feel me? Like, you sometimes you can, like, you know, you gotta have the street smarts, you feel me? Like, when you see somebody in your neighborhood, and they, you know, this neighborhood is known to be a certain gang, or, or you know, certain people rep this shit, or, like, you know, it's a certain gang that control, it's a certain neighborhood, certain clique. Like, come on, man, like, a lot of people do their homework and they know what's what. Sometimes people don't know, but a lot of times people do do their homework and you know what turf you're about to be stepping on. You know, you know what I'm saying? So, like, people be thinking, like, nah, these motherfuckers probably came to look for trouble type shit. You feel me? Like, so sometimes people don't move. Like, they don't move. I mean, sometimes people do move. And sometimes people, you know, they, they get lost, right? They just be walking. But they knew we was from around the neighborhood type shit. You feel me? Like, so... And sometimes people don't notice you from the neighborhood until you join the gang. That's another thing, too. Sometimes you don't get no noticeable. You don't get noticeable. You don't get noticed. You don't get nothing, like, until you join the gang. Like, this should be crazy. But anyway, so we there. They probably was thinking, like, yeah, these motherfuckers looking for trouble or some shit. Like, because they ain't approaching. Nobody came to us. Nobody said nothing. Nobody, like, they was just looking and, you know, they you were know, doing the face fight or whatever. At the end of the day, I'm like this. If you came to my block, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Flamed up. Motherfuckers don't care what you got on you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers would have twisted that ass up and whatever. If, if you had it on you, you had it on you. You know what I'm saying? Got it on me. You know what I'm saying? If you had it on you, you had it on you. But motherfuckers didn't care about that. They didn't think about that. You feel me? Like that's not even like motherfuckers didn't care. Like it's like it's about it was about protecting the turf. Like we we don't care what you got, where you came from, why you knew in the town. You gonna know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um but anyway, yeah, they ain't do nothing, so we felt like it was a victory, you feel me? Like, we felt like we, we walked on your turf, nothing happened to us, and we went about our business. You know, the light changed, we turned around, went about our business, nothing happened. You know what I'm saying? But like, yeah, <laughs> it was a good day in the job that day. But the point and the moral of the story is that that's how stupid I was at sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I could have I got seriously hurt, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, doing that shit, you know, going on somebody's turf, um, and then, you know, that's the whole shit about this gangbang shit, right, it's like tick for tat, right, it's like you do something, they do something, you do something, they do something, retaliation, try to take over, um, and at the same time, yo, we all the same people, bro, we all the same people living in the hood, fucked up, fucked up situations, conditions, a lot of us come from single parent homes, a lot of us, our parents was on welfare, a lot of us lived in section eight, the projects, low income, whatever it is, a lot of us were struggling to make ends meet, a lot of us were struggling to get our next meal, a lot of us went to bed hungry, a lot of us are suffering, got all this trauma, a lot of us are hurting, man, and, and when you hurting, you bleed on everybody, and I think that that's what's going on still to this day. Like, people are hurting in the hood, and they need an outlet. So they go out there, they join gangs, they join this, they join that. And they just bring pain to other people because they in pain. And shit is fucked up, man. It's a fucked up cycle of violence, of hurt, of trauma, and all of that stuff. And 
you know, I make these videos, you know, so we could laugh, so we could talk about it, so, you know, we kind of, like, reminisce, and I could kind of, like, walk you through my life, but not to glorify, like I said in the beginning, it's not about, it's not about glorifying, and I always have, like, a little message, a little positive message, because I'm trying to do something different, and if I did something to you, if I ever hurt somebody, or if I ever, you know, we had, like, run-ins, you know, and there was some gang shit, like, it's, it's some gang shit, you feel me, like, and hopefully we could get past that, and we could do different things, because, we the ones that need to save ourselves and save our communities. Like, we don't got to be living like this. And I know things kind of, like, calm down. Things is a little different in the hood now. Um, As far as, like, you know, the high le levels of violence like it used to be. But we still be doing stupid stuff, man. We still we still could be better. Like, we always could be better. We always could uplift our community. We always could better our neighbors. Like, we always get upset when our neighbors telling us, or oh, they want us to go to jail, or they don't want us to be around. But it's because, yo, we be doing foul stuff. Who wants a foul individual around them? Who wants a foul individual around their kids? Who wants a foul individual around their family? Who wants a foul individual in the community? You know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes kids want to go outside and play, and it's like parents be nervous that, like, yo, dudes going to be banging, dudes going to be shooting, dudes going to be fighting. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's the things we got to think about. We, we just got to make it a better environment. It's not always about leaving the hood and going somewhere else. Sometimes it's about cultivating the hood. Sometimes it's about upbringing the hood, like like investing in the hood. Do something different, man. And we got the power to do that, man. Gangs are very powerful, and we got the power to shift shit and make change in our hood, man. And hopefully in the near future, we could do that, man. We could put all this dumb shit aside, and we could do our damn thing, man. And, like, we could be powerful, bro. We could be strong. But let me know what y'all think. Like, comment, subscribe, share. And, you know, until next time, man, word. Peace. Y'all be safe out there. Word. Peace.